Hello fans and welcome again to today's episode of this show and uh, we will continue from where we left yesterday and uh, we talked about uh, how I got in the habit of eating or consuming drugs smoke cigarettes, whiskey and, and the rest of them on the list and uh, I was going, I told you that I, I wanted to use my self as a good example in real life and uh, how I manage on how I, and see if my my fans or any people anyone on this planet who might help or who might want, who might be in the same position and want to to set themselves free, but they might not have an idea of how it works, how to get through it, and how to. They don't have any idea how it works or how they can do it. So every time they try to escape it, to run away, they keep coming back on smoking cigarettes and uh, opium, cocaine, heroin, and uh, the rest of them on the list. So I was in that, I, I was in that situation sometimes back in my life and I managed to escape in there. I'm sure if everyone, everyone, anyone in the same situation will follow the same procedures there's a chance of survival it's a chance you might heal and have your life back and live as a free man not worshipping drugs not not worshipping drugs and not doing what not uh, yeah not depending on drugs so to get alive. So, I got into that habit due to the influence of people who were in my environment in high school. And uh, to, after I experienced the first side effects of the consumption of cigarette tobacco, that is and whiskey and the traditionally made homemade whiskey, homemade beer then I started looking for a way to do what? a way to get myself free from this and when I did this I found there was no no one had an idea the medical department and there was just nothing in this world that could give me hints on how I can get myself free from the opium and tobacco nicotine. It was really hard. I tried looking in the library for books, and when you read the, when you read the book, you find that uh, they don't give a very effective very effective answer to the problem, you see. It's just kind of a luck trial and error. And you need someone who's been in that, that uh, condition and uh, before. And they have, they have uh, first class what? They have first class uh, experiences about it and they will give you good as a soul that way that way we continue from where that last evening and cigarettes tobacco the tobacco that I used to smoke kind of used to weaken my defense systems against the cold that used to attack me see that I have never heard of 
Yeah. Any scientific biological uh, biological logic behind this battle. See that tobacco the tobacco that I used to smoke used to affect me bad. Used to weaken my system and there was no way that I could get uh, myself get my systems back to function the way they used to do when I was a kid before I started smoking this. And now I had to look for a way out of this as fast as possible because if I didn't do that then <laughs> the consequences were obvious. The consequences were obvious. See that? Within just a short time in the future, I could predict what would have happened to me. So I had to look for a way to get out of smoking tobacco and doing and the rest of them opium, whiskey and the rest of them. So that is when I started looking for clues and hints in the library, on the internet, and talking to to religious leaders, talking to religious experts, talking to medical staff, talking to anybody that my mind could uh, I could anybody that I could say yes or anybody that I felt that uh, was in a position to understand my situation and get me a what? An answer. So if you get tough, you try everything. You try anything that comes in your way, even witchcraft. You will. See? You want to smoke cigarette and opium, smoking quickly. <laughs> Within a flash up and you want to start recovering and uh, try improving and you see that living and a good life, generating a good life for yourself, good health, and uh, physical fitness, physical fitness, sorry, and everything. So that way, I met books written and read by some religious leaders, I met books written by the nutritionists, and I met people, I met people, spiritual leaders, who who believe that uh, is Satan who is holding you into the world, into the cigarettes, and they believe that it is Satan who is holding you into the opium and whiskey. They want you to pray hard as hard as possible, and they want you to cast as hard as possible. They want you to depend on spiritual what? Spiritual health. <laughs> they believe that there's someone telling you what? someone, an invisible man, a bad man, who doesn't want others to prosper, who doesn't want others to feel good, to have goodness and enjoy goodness in this world. He, he wants to take it all for himself. And if you want to do that, you must do it. Cast and break all links, relationships with the man, and throw him away out of this world, where only those who do religion and spirituality know so that where are some of us don't have an idea like me and now I don't know <laughs> I've never been off this planet into space before I don't know how many people are up out there in the sky I don't know but these people say they know so when they tell you about miracles and things that <laughs> things are, that are beyond the biological processes procedures and all that Friend, it is easy to believe, to worship, you bow and worship, you want to heal. See that? That one I don't know, I've never been there. So I met many, many hmm, versions of solutions. It is nutrition, they say, if you eat, the nutrition is said that if you eat fatty foods, see that? Fatty foods enhance the urge, the, the, the thirst for another dose of what? Nicotine. See that? So you always a dip a stick of cigarette and a, a cup of coffee or tea or any other did very well. So, that, so if you wanted to drop the eyes, if you want to beat the eyes of smoking, you must you had to to do what you had to 
stop eating fatty foods. See that? You eat only boiled foods, boiled foods, meat, and the vegetables, boiled with salt only, and not fats. See that? Not <laughs> chemical at all. No, 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 sophisticated and complicated methods of cooking, just boil. Pure water and pure salt, sodium chloride, nothing more. And you, you will fail. But I never, I tried that, but it never worked. See, it didn't work. I don't know. Hmm? That's why I said in the beginning that each and everyone has their own way. How they discover the opium, tobacco, whiskey. And each and everyone has their own reasons why they continued eating or consuming the stuff for the rest of their lives. So, opium and tobacco are saying to somehow the fat in the food is saying to generate the art for that. But I tried it, it didn't work, and we are going to do this my own way. I went through it, and how I know. See that? <laughs> so, so that way, and uh, that way we have to go back to Ambulis ways, Ambulis therapy. See that? We call it Ambulis therapy. See that? <laughs> and uh, so that way, I discovered something in the middle of all these. See that? In the middle of all these happenings, I discovered a way through. See that? It was my. It was. I was working in a tea factory and it was my. It was my annual leave, four weeks annual leave, and I had to travel back home. Close or near my parents, stay close to my parents, my family members, and they all were close. Whenever I wanted anything, any kind of help, whenever I wanted to talk to them, they were close. It was easy to communicate with them. Then I discovered that, I discovered that if I kept myself busy by something, see that. You direct or you direct your your psychology and your the power in you onto other active other activities in my life around your environment. It would be easy to do what you use your powers, your power. You use you direct, you direct whatever they call it, energies or what, but if you kept yourself busy in, by other different things apart from smoking, things that ate up your time, hmm? things that kept you busy, when you are so busy, you tend, you forgetting. The problem is, that was the secret, and the problem was how to leave the first day with a cigarette. See? That's how it is. I discovered that in the middle of all this, trying to open nutritional info that would block the eyes, see? the task for nicotine without having any looking for psychological methods and looking for other chemical methods for me that will help me stop smoking and looking for all this and then it ended up that uh, <laughs> everything that I, I came across did not work exactly as I wanted. I had to do what? I had to go ahead and con continue looking for a remedy for my situation. Because every time I, <laughs> as time went on, I was still doing what? Mm -hmm. Cigarette. I was still smoking cigarettes. I was still. It was still very delicate. See that? Any time, any little thing could cause you to go back to cigarette smoking. Even a friend, even a smoking friend who came visit you, whom you met on the road, 
could fool you till you get you got back to smoking. So what I did was hmm, I discovered that if you wanted to stop smoking cigarette, and I say that it is cigarette that we are talking about, not opium, not whiskey. If you wanted to stop cigarette, tobacco, that is the best, the best formula of the best technical of stopping smoking. Find a way of keeping your cell busy hmm? until you do what? Hmm? You stop smoking. You spend the first day without smoking, then the second day. After stopping the first day, you will have acquired that the rest of them will just flow by themselves. <clears throat> first day, first hour, second hour, all day, second day, third day, fourth day, a week, a month. Then months will live, if he has lived, he has lived into, he lived into centuries. So that's how it happened. And uh, that is how it is. And the problem now is in what way, in what way, or which techniques can you use to redirect yourself to other activities that will drive you slowly by slowly away from smoking? See? That is it. That's how I succeeded. You just have to look for a way of doing that and keeping yourself busy and see that. And the people around you hmm, will help you to do that. So that's how it is. That's all for today. See you next time when I get the time. Next episode of the show. Thank you and goodbye.